on Monday the 21st of uh, this month, the K24 uh, aired a feature on the states of healthcare, uh, the uh, Kenyatta National Hospital, uh, under the title of uh, uh, Rufa Maututi, which uh, translates to uh, a critically ill uh, health system. I would like to say that uh, we, as the healthcare providers in this country, agree with the content that was aired uh, in that clip, whereby uh, the patients at the national hospitals, accident and emergency units, um, were subjected to, or are subjected to, <coughs> long waiting hours before they can see the doctor, more cues at the x-rays, more cues in the laboratories, uh, and, and these are, are, are emergencies that uh, basically uh, on arrival they should be attended uh, uh, to uh, immediately. Uh, however, the trouble of overcrowding at the hospital, the sheer volume of, of, of work that the hospital is subjected to can make even the best of hospital to crumble and the reason for this uh, cannot be sought at Kenyatta National Hospital. We must, we must look back at where these referrals come from because it is, it is, it is clear to us <clears throat> that our hospitals from level 4, the district hospital, to level 5, the provincial hospitals, these hospitals are unable to handle some of the emergencies that they should be able to handle. Because the concept and the essence of a national referral hospital is that it should handle the most complicated and the most rare of cases that cannot be handled at the provincial hospital and at the district hospital. But if this district hospital and the provincial hospital are not, if they are not, if they are not well equipped to handle these cases, then you have all of these cases which can be handled very well at the district hospitals, at the provincial hospitals. Some of them end up being referred to the national hospital because the district hospital and the provincial hospitals are not equipped to handle these cases. I can, I can state clearly that, that at the district hospital and at the provincial hospitals, we do not have the capacity in this country to actually handle methanol poisoning. We do not, we do not have the capacity to handle these, uh, these cases. And so you, you end up having all these cases being referred. And, when, and why should they be referred? Is that we do not have specialists in these district hospitals and, and provincial hospitals. Number two is that the hospitals, even if they had specialists, do not have the equipment that they need to handle the emergencies. They do not have the equipment and they do not have the sufficient drugs to handle them. Currently, everyone will say that, that, uh, that, that, that healthcare now is under the counties and therefore it is devolved, it's a function of the, of the county government. However, however, it is the role and the county governments to ensure that we have proper solutions, it, it, is, it is the function. And we, as the healthcare workers in this country, we have always advocated for solutions. Over the last three years, we have advocated for solutions that could fix the chronic problems that are afflicting the healthcare system in Kenya, that have continued to afflict this healthcare system from the right from independence. When one of the major visions of the country was was, was to fight poverty, ignorance, and disease. But when it comes to disease, the solutions that healthcare workers have given right since then have most of the times been ignored, you know. And, and the best, latest example, because, because health workers stepped up their advocacy in the past three years, the best example of this is, is, the, is the task force report that the healthcare workers came up with, you know, together with other stakeholders, to actually strengthen healthcare in the country and part of the recommendations in that task force report was that we should have 47 national referral hospitals 
so that we don't have a case where Kenyatta National Hospital is handling the work that should be done by 47 referral hospitals because that's what ha what's happening and that's why we have the mess you know uh, that, that was one of the recommendations another one was to 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 to, to increase the, the the training to to actually raise the level of training so that we have more specialists uh, going uh, to work in the in, in the in the in the in the peripheral facilities so that we do not have every other patient being brought to Kenyatta National Hospital and and, and, and and those recommendations some also which which touched on on the equipping of hospitals according to the norms and standards because we have norms and standards of how a level five hospital should be equipped how, how, how a, a level four hospital should be equipped but but these norms and standards are never there too when when a, when, a, when a hospital is promoted uh, from one level to another we first start by by, by changing the name, you know, from a health center to a district hospital. But then, but then the, the, the equipping does not follow. You know, the staffing also does not follow. And, and therefore, you, you have hospitals that operate as level four, while in actual sense, they should be operating as, as health centers. And, and, and therefore, this is part of the problem. And, 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 and most people will celebrate because sometimes it is it is it is uh, it is clothed in political rhetoric. So a few people or, or, or someone in will celebrate that the hospital has been upgraded. But then uh, you, you have a level four hospital which essentially should have surgical services where emergencies can be dealt with. You do not have you do not have the surgeon there. You do not have a theatre there. It's simply a change of name. And therefore we continue referring hospitals from as far as Meru. You know. Uh, you know, we had a patient being referred from Meru in, in, that, in that feature and, and it's, it's, it, shouldn't, it should not be happening. It should not be happening because, 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 because these services can be available locally. And, 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 and then what, what's, what could then be, be the, the role of, 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 the, of the Kenyan? It is very clear in the current constitution that healthcare is a right. And, and, and every citizen of Kenya has the right to the highest attainable quality of health care. It's a right, and, 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 but, but it's a right that most Kenyans would want to, to, uh, to, 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 to actually relegate to, to, to lower in, the, in their list of priorities, you know, so that, so that no one takes the leaders to task as to as to the quality of healthcare that that we have in, in in this country, and therefore, the first step that the citizen of Kenya should be taking at the moment is to ask their leader to actually bring uh, members of their families when they are unwell uh, to the public hospitals also, you know, so 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 that so that they can show that they also have faith in the in the quality. Of public health care that 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 is preserved for for the Mwananchi. So that should that should actually be the starting point. Actually take them to task either either during election time or any other time. So you know so that we do not have this continuous continuous neglect of, 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 of healthcare in Kenya. And and we as as healthcare workers we must say that we've always had the solutions and the, the, and, 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 the, and the images that were coming from Kenyatta or are coming from Kenyatta currently are what we have always lived with. And, and, and because, because of the poor conditions, you know, working conditions as such, and, 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 and most of, of, of healthcare, healthcare workers are actually, have actually left. And that's why we also have very low numbers. Uh, therefore, we as healthcare workers are challenging the citizen that this country has many challenges, but one of the major challenges in this country is actually health care. Let us not think about all other challenges and forget health care. Because when we talk about health care, we're talking about a matter of life and death. You know, and, and anyone, anyone can be caught up in the mess. When the public health care system is messed up, anyone can be caught up in the mess. We want all, system, all hospitals in the country functioning properly to handle emergencies so that even, even for those Kenyans who have private insurance and who can afford to get healthcare at private facilities, they should actually, they should actually be 
interested in the in the, in the healthcare offered in public facilities because you could be traveling in Homa Bay, you could be traveling in Trukana, you could be traveling in Lamu, you could be traveling in, in Wajia and you get an accident if that facility right there is not is not is not up to standard, if it cannot be able to give you emergency services, you will not survive. So this is our problem and, and we must work on it together.